This next one in the lineup is by a username of Dumb Corn Aruv. And the map name is Space Station or something. This sounds thrilling. <laughs> As you can see, stock title. This isn't a... I don't know if... Yeah, this is custom music. Seems, uh... But seems pretty standard starting out. Dank minis. Space station. Or something. It's a blue key, I don't have that yet. Something like five max and maximum doom use Bohemian Rhapsody midis. I don't not sure if I ever actually heard of Bohemian Rhapsody uh MIDI. I mean I played a lot of Doom mods, but I still only like scraped the surface so far. The outside's kinda neat. Oh god. Assuming if you put them there, I can jump, so I'm jumping. Fuck it. Red. Starting one on the walls? Oh. I haven't found... Yeah, I'm assuming you just use a bunch of, uh, 
stock textures. Like I said, this is a pretty standard looking map. Neat premise though that it's in space though. Yeah, it would be kind of nice if there was low gravity at some point. I'm not sure how in depth he went though. This is a new room. Oh yeah, I'm assuming that jumping is allowed in this one because there were some places where it was mandatory to get to. Why was there two secrets there? haven't found any keys yet. There's no point in me being on there. Not right now. Did I go in here? Yeah, I did. In the DOS engine, it doesn't make a sound when you find secrets, so you don't notice. But some of the Doom 2 maps, a single secret is like six secrets. Yeah, when was that sound introduced? Like, I don't know if uh, the secret sound in this is like exclusive to GZ Doom, or if that was like a heretic thing or something like that. Because I've seen, uh, oh, here we are. When I see Blood Thunder, uh, like, do his speedruns of Doom, he uses, what was it, Boom? I think it's the source port that he uses to run those. And the, uh, the secret reveal sound effect is different than the one in this one. Z-Doom and a few other ports, no official game does it. Oh, okay. I could have used my chainsaw. Oh well. Kinda wish I had a torch. Hey, Moggers. They also don't give you the text. That sucks. The only way you can tell is on the map. so I can't go that way. Nice. The map doesn't list secret total numbers or kill. I mean, total... That much I knew. Like, that I knew was like a, a Z-Doom thing. Showing you the amount of monsters and secrets on the map and things like that. I knew that wasn't stock. Jesus.
Heretic does switch over to showing you numbers rather than percentages at the end of the map. Yeah, I did notice that. It's actually showing you how many you got. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> he got that off so quickly. Also, because of the way the percent counter works, map of seven and Doom Two and some of the other maps have one secret in the exit room or entrance room, so that the counter doesn't show zero percent secrets. Even though, even when there aren't any, I noticed with some of the uh, the mods that I played, I think actually Sight does that. Sometimes it'll put like secrets in places where, like, you just walk over. It's like just a regular hallway, and you like get a secret. I'm assuming that for like a time, you had to put as many secrets as like the original map that you replaced had in it. And I think that's the reason why I think it was Scythe that I was playing that did that. That was never the case. You can add as many as... Oh. Interesting. Why the hell did Scythe do that? That's what I assume, because some of the secrets they placed in there were, like, so weird. Could be a sector bug, or could be to confuse the percent scale. Since in vanilla, that's the only indicator you could get. Alright, I guess that makes sense. Revenants always freak me out when they're close, because they, uh, they can shoot faster. There's more of a wind-up with the uh, Hell Knights and the Barons. Also, if a map is no legit secrets, you want to play secrets where you will have to pass them for the aforementioned reasons. Wondering, did I go into these rooms yet? Well, I didn't. Come on, there you go. Damn it, punch each other, you bastards. Could have been really bad. 
He's trying to cut me off. Oh god, there's another one. This isn't even that hard. I'm making it harder for myself because I'm doing stupid shit. Oh god. Hex in the whole game is a secret, basically, since it has puzzles and fetch quests for secrets, so there's no secret count. I was in here, wasn't I? Yeah. That's the other side I wasn't in yet. Hi! Time to go in the middle. Hold on. I've seen mods that program like these computers to actually open up something. I didn't hear anything though. Actually, Brittle Doom does that. Hi! That was fast. It's a splash damage must have did him in too. There's a whole bunch of them. God damn it. Is there one more? I thought there was still one more alive. I guess that was the last one. This side, Evan. Yeah, I know. They're the most fun to kill. Personally, though... The Hell Knights... And maybe a very, very close second, the, uh, the Barons are my favorite enemies. I just like their design. That probably wasn't the best decision. This is a bunch of lost souls now. I don't think that was the original design decision either. I think it just ended up that way. Hmm. 
Hi! I didn't hear you at all. It was already that way in 1995 when he used the Kako as the icon for Dune 95. I think he was still the icon for Ultimate Dune, too. Unless it's what you're talking about. sound of that. Yep, I didn't like the sound of that. <laughs> Did they release a version of Doom... On Windows 95, that wasn't Ultimate Doom? Or was Doom, was Doom 95 Ultimate Doom? I actually don't remember. Because uh, I remember having the icon, but I forget if that was Ultimate Doom or not. Like, I never owned or played Doom before. So I guess it, I guess it was the... Uh, it must have been Ultimate Doom. I don't think I ever had an original copy of Doom. It was always Ultimate Doom. Doom 95 was originally a generic port of all the Doom games, but later shipped in the CD box with Ultimate Doom with some re-releases of Doom 2 with all the copies of Final Doom. You know what? If, what I'm thinking of is probably the CD-ROM version of it that I had. I like fifteen health, so I gotta be incredibly careful. Did he leave any health behind? Or did I screw myself over? I think there might still be some health left. Oh good, there is. Good. That should be all I need. Generic port was available as a free download from id, and that port worked with any fully patched Doom game, be it shareware, registered, ultimate. Yeah, the, uh, the version of Doom that I ended up owning ended up coming with, uh, in a, the original Doom 3. I don't know if it was, I don't think it was a pre-order, because I don't think I pre-ordered it. I think it just came with it when I got it at Best Buy. Microsoft paid them to develop the port and handled some development tests, and then released it more or less the same time when his 95 came out. 
Microsoft was worried about securing a port of Doom to Windows 95 to establish it as a gaming platform, so they did a lot of stuff like that. Cheeky little bugger putting the two barons in front of the arc vial. Oh good, more health. Microsoft even ran a rather famous video where Bill Gates is superimposed in the Doom level. That one I haven't heard of. I don't want to save that. There's a key there, too. At the same time, I kind of want to pick it up now. Let's save and pick it up now. Should find the plasma rifle soon if you put those there. He didn't put those there until now. There's nothing else back here, is there? Nope. How about up here? Nope. I don't think uh, Bill Gates ever played any video games. Again, I could be completely wrong, but he didn't seem like the type that would actually that actually had spare time. Shite. That's scary. Damn it. 
That was a good idea to take that. At the same time, I could really use that plasma rifle. the end of the stage. <laughs> oh god. That big rig's ending screen. Space station or some shit like that. You're a winner. <laughs> well, that was space station or some shit like that. Even though I kind of rushed the ending. Cyber demons are scary, though.